Hello my friends and welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. This time with a first look at the HK416A5 assault rifle after the recoil rework in the 0.14 patch. This particular piece of German engineering was once the unchallenged god king of 5.56 weapons in Tarkov, combining laser accuracy, low recoil, and a high fire rate to lay waste to legions of PMCs all across Tarkov. It was a Chad's best friend, until years of nerfs weighed it down and it eventually just sort of fell out of favor. Well I honestly think that we might be entering the HK renaissance, because after using the 416 for just a few raids I would definitely say it's back in business. I was even using a pretty mid tier build with a lot of room for improvement, so I can't wait to see what it's like when fully juiced up with attachments. In this video I'll go over the build that I've been using at level 3 traders currently with the HK, and then I've got some PvP gameplay from the raids that I was using the build in so you can see it in action. First things first, I swapped the barrel on my 416 out for the 16.5 inch barrel, which reduces the recoil and increases the muzzle velocity slightly. For the suppressor on this build, I'm running the KAC QD 3 pronged flash eliminator with a KAC QDC 556 suppressor attached to that. There's a ton of different 556 suppressor options, but this one is pretty close in stats to some of the top tier options without costing a fortune on the flea market. After the suppressor, I replaced the handguard with the Midwest Industries 9 inch M lock handguard, adding some much needed ergonomics onto the build. I add on an M lock rail so I can attach an X400 flashlight, and then I've been running the new Daniel Defense enhanced M lock foregrip on this build. This thing attaches straight onto any M lock handguard, so you don't need an extra rail. Next, I swapped out the pistol grip for the Hogue rubber grip for some extra ergonomics. And then I swap out the buttstock for the VLTOR E-Mod stock, which actually has some pretty solid recoil stats in the 0.14 patch after many of the attachments had their stats completely reworked. Finally, for my optic on this build, I was running the Hammer 4x scope with the backup Delta Point. This has always been one of my favorite optic combos, and with the recoil rework, this thing is better than ever when using it on full auto. I was quite impressed with how this build performed in comparison to how it felt last wipe, where you basically needed a full best in slot recoil build to make it feel even kind of usable. This build isn't exactly budget friendly considering the gun itself is 100k, but even with mid tier attachments it was quite controllable and fun to use, and I bet it doesn't cost that much more than an M4 build. I've got some gameplay with this build to close out the rest of the video, so I hope you enjoy, and let me know what you think about the 416 in Tarkov down in the comments below. Thanks for checking out the video, I've got a link to my Twitch stream down in the description if you want to check out some of my live Tarkov gameplay, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City. How many cheeseburgers do you want, Rick? Honestly, I could probably eat like three or four cheeseburgers right now. In the cottage, in the cottage, in the cottage. He's coming out the front. Get another fucking noob tube in there. If he's not dead, I'm gonna. No, he's not dead. I'm blind. I think he's going out the back, maybe. I don't know where he's at. I think he's still in there. Yoo-hoo! You're to the left of the door, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go secure the back door, I think. Uh, but I don't really want to walk past that window. Throwing grenades down. What do you think? Do we be big strong men about this? Absolutely. Okay, I'm coming in the front door. I'm at the back. I've opened up the back. Back is clear. You sure? Yeah, that's me, that's me. That's you? Well, who's running around the back? There's someone at the back. Yeah, I know. I know. I got him. I'll get him. He 
he killed me. Yeah, the HK is so back. <coughs> I also, I fucking refuse to believe that your first grenade launcher round didn't fucking kill one of them. Because, like, I watched the guy walk into that room, and I watched your grenade blow up, like, right next to him. Jesus, this guy had a fucking juiced out G36. I mean, fuck it, I don't even like the VSS, I'm just gonna take the G36. Throat starting to get sore from talking too much. Definitely not from smoking. Definitely not from blowing the heat either. No, bro, I got that taken care of before the wipe. Why do you think I'm finding all these bitcoins? <laughs> oh, shot, shot. I think it might be a player because that was accurate. I'm, I'm gonna fail my quest. I got a heavy bleed. I missed. They're pushing the road. Killed one. There's another one coming in right where you shot that grenade. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Yeah. Good kill. I am failing mine. Yeah. That's the orb too key. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I'm checking the sheds. Look at that. Definitely somebody in one of these. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> I don't know if there's backing. I'm backing you. Yeah, I have to hey, kill a heavy bleed. Dude, thorax to three again. And it didn't even like touch my armor. You're all clear. Okay. I bet you'd jump off the bridge if I told you to, too. I mean, I have jumped off of a bridge because all my friends jumped off the bridge, so. That's a thing. The bridge is only like 20 feet high though, so... One of our... EMS after? There was, there was five of us jumping off said bridge and the last person just like couldn't get the courage to do it and he stood there for so long looking down at the water, so nervous that he eventually just like threw up into the river. <laughs> it was kind of disgusting, but it was like... Also kind of hilarious. Look out, Jesus. Balloon. I just fell down trying to get to the sleeping bag. Guys below us. Okay. Killed one. I don't know if there's more. Well, that's a good thing that I fell down here, I guess. 